What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Great to have you here. So this video, I have a completely full kiln and I've done a lot of kiln unloadings on this channel. So if you watched this channel before, you've probably seen me unload a bunch of pots. This kiln is full of mostly custom orders. So it's gonna be a lot of the same, but I've been doing a lot of custom orders so I thought I would kind of share with you uh, what it's been looking like. So a lot of what's in this kiln is these Anderson window mugs. So this order I've been working on for like a while now and I'm getting to the end of it. So the total order was for 350 mugs um, for Anderson windows and doors. I went through a long process with them, gave them a bunch of different samples and this is the design that they chose. <clears throat> and the logo has kind of proven to be a lot of work to get the glaze all in there correctly. So anyway, I'll show you guys some of those. Obviously, I'll go through them quick because they all look basically the same. Um, I wanted to let you know that our next restock, our first of kind of our holiday sales is November 7th. So Sunday, November 7th, we have some pots for sale. We're gonna get some more done. Uh, mugs, bowls, it's gonna be a good restock. Um, and then we have two more restocks after that, one November 25th and then one December 11th, I think. And we're also doing a collaborative sale at Cherico Pottery. If you've ever heard of Joel Cherico, he does a lot on Facebook, he's a great potter, and he lives like an hour away from me. So he invited me to his studio to do a shop small crawl. So if you wanna come see me and Joel Cherico in the same spot, I'll be at his studio on November 26th, 10 to five. I, am throw I threw 100 pots yesterday, 100 of these, this shape, and I will throw 100 today so we're gonna finish 200 custom mugs this weekend. My, my employee Kai is coming home from school because he works with me in the summers. He's coming home this weekend to help me make all those custom mugs. So that's gonna be the, the final end of these Anderson mugs because that'll be a 350. Um, and then a, two more custom orders too. So that's it for updates. Let's get into opening this kiln, huh? All right, so couple other things on top of this. We'll have these for sale in our restock, these Insanity mugs. There, there's the Insanity. Those are, this is probably my favorite thing that I do. I only can make like 10 to 20 maybe a month because they are balanced. I'll show you how I do it. They're balanced on top, upside down. So they've, this is the second glaze fire they've been. So they get fired upside down and they're balanced if you can see in there, there's a little stilt. So then usually this just pops right off. Boom. And then the bottom is glazed, which is really unique. So I'll have maybe 10 of those for sale in the upcoming restock. Otherwise I gotta get to making more of those. Those are really fun. So many Anderson window mugs. I'm just gonna speed up. I've gotten so much better at doing these logos. Logos used to come out and they weren't like perfect. Um, but man, I've learned a lot in this order about how to get these, these custom logos looking really fine and clean. I'm very happy with my progress on that. I've been thinking a lot about doing more of those custom orders and making that a bigger part of my business because I like the project management aspect of it, like working with people, a lot of times they come to the studio, they work with me, like what exactly they want, what shape do they want, what size, what glaze, uh, and how we can make their logo work. And then shout out to Justin's Makery, he makes all the custom stamps. So if you're looking for a custom stamp, um, you can reach out to Justin's Makery, he does all mine. Like, oh, these are, these are definitely the best ones, the best looking ones that I've had come out. Which I realize for you, this might be kind of boring to just watch like all the same mug come out. But I think it's really fun. Oh, I'll show you. Like, so this, this is what we have done right now. So these are, this is 92 mugs right here. And then what we pull out after this will get us to 100. And this is what's gonna be mostly for sale on our restock. Northern Lights, cups, bowls, some new, some new glazes, so. And then this is all the 100 mugs that I threw yesterday. Besides the Anderson window mug order, I also have another custom order. Man, that coil just keeps coming out. This was another order for an interior design company. Oh, those turned out really, really nice. 
So she wanted, she came out to the studio, picked this shape, so kind of like a and then this was her logo, Huntley and Co. And then she picked the glaze color, which she, she wanted just kind of like a creamy white. So this is Alabaster from Mako. Um, and, and then she wanted this style handle too. So it's like more like a full hand handle. Those look really, really nice. Super happy with those. So she, this is an order of 20. Oh, that's nice actually. So this was a tester that I did with, so this is just two coats of Alabaster. So Alabaster and then more Alabaster on top. That's cool, I like it. I like it. So these are some more tests too. That's nice. Alabaster and then bright red gloss on top. This is Alabaster with a uh, Aurora Green on top. That looks nice. Boom. 23 mugs there. This was another, this is another custom order I'm working on right now. Beer Steins for the cave. And these turned out really good. So same thing, they came out to the studio, they wanted a black and a gray glaze. And those turned out, are turning out sweet. I still have quite a few of these glaze. Basically the whole next shelf is just all these mugs. Boom, so I don't have to show you everyone because they're all gonna look really similar. But I really like that logo. God, it just turned out so nice and clean. Very different looking for me, not my typical style of like colorful drippy glazes, but. All right, and then the entire bottom shelf is just more Anderson mugs. Boom. Look at that. Look at that sea of orange. That's it for this kiln unloading. Uh, as you can see, I got lots going in the studio. And if you wanna buy any pots, check out our holiday restocks, November 7th, November 25th and December 11th are the three before the holidays. So I hope you guys are all doing great. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Shoo.